the second part of the question, we are required to prepare the provision for bad and doubtful debt. Provision for bad and doubtful debts. account for the three years. What is the accounting treatment? The accounting treatment for the provision which we defined as the amount of money that the company expects not to recover or to collect from the debtors. That is a, what we are referring to as a provision for bad debts or allowance for bad debts. And we say that the accounting treatment of a provision for bad and doubtful debt depends on the year of trading such that if it is the first year of trading, we will debit the profit and loss account and credit the provision. In the subsequent periods, it will depend on whether the provision is a, an increase or a decrease. If it is an increase, then we credit the provision for bad and doubtful debts. And if it is a decrease, then we debit the provision for bad and doubtful debts. So let's work out. Those are the rules. Look at the question. The provision for bad and doubtful debts in 2013 is 5%. It is 5%. So before we prepare the account, maybe we need to have uh, a working. Let's have a small working here for the provisions. In 2013, the provision is a percentage of the data at the end. The rate is 5%. Uh, the data at the end is 22 million. So this is going to be 5% of 22 million. In 2014, what is the percentage? 7% of 40 million. 7% times 40 million. Then in 2015, is it 6%? 6% of 60 million. 60 million. These are workings for the provisions for the years. 5% of uh, 32 million. What is the amount, George? 1.1 million. 2014, 7% of 40, we just multiply 7 by 4 here. This is uh, 28. Is it 2.8 million? Then 6% of uh, 60. I just take this 6 times 6, which is equal to 36. So this is 6.6 .6 million. Am I right? 3.6 million. 3.6 million. Yes, 3.6 million. So these are the provisions. So let's account for provision of doubtful debts. The first year, this is the first year. The first year we said we credit the provision and debit the P&L account. In 20, 
13 December 31 we credit this account with P and L so the amount here we have three zeros there 1.1 million so we have uh, we close this account 2013 December 31 balance carried down 1.1 million close the account 1.1 million this balance bring it down in 2014 January 1 January 1 January 1 balance brought down 1.1 million so please pay attention pay attention The provision for bad and doubtful debts at the beginning of 2014 is 1.1 million. The provision for bad and doubtful debt at the end of 2014 ought to be 2.8 million please pay attention pay attention this is the amount of the provision for bad and doubtful debts in 2014 at the end of 2014 it is seven percent of the balance of data at the end of 2014 that is that first December 2014. So we take 7% of 40 million. The provision ought to be 2.8 million at the end. But you see at the beginning, on January 1, we already have a balance. So how much do we need to add to this to get 2.8 million? Because ideally, at the end of the at the end of the year here, this is 2014. At the end of 2014, December 31, the balance carried down should be 2.8. Should be this 2.8 million. So you can see, we need to credit this account because this definitely is an increase. The provision should be 2.8 million, but it, it is at the beginning 1.1, .1, which means there is an increase of the difference of, uh, is it 1.7? Yeah, 1.7. This is an increase. Do you see that, George? Pay attention, pay attention, please. Then play, pay attention, pay attention. The provision has increased from 1.1 to 2.8. So we said when there is an increase, we debit provision for doubtful debts and debit the P and L. The date here is the December 31. P and L. And this is a, a balancing figure candidates. You can just do it that way. This is a balancing figure. So I calculated the balance at the end and debited debited the, the account then you can subtract this from that to get that as a balancing figure so we close it
this year we close the account 2.8 close it 2.8 let's close it then bring the balance down in 2015 january 1 balance brought down 2.8 2.8 in 2015 the provision is 3.6 which is an increase again at the end this should appear here as 3.6 in 2015 December 31 balance brought down should be 3.6 so it has increased from 2.8 to 3.6. 3.6. And this is an increase of 800. In, on December 31, we check to the profit and loss account. The balancing figure is a balancing figure. Again, we close this account. Close it. So it has also increased from 2.8 to 3.6 and it has increased by 800,000. What if there is a decrease? Now let's push it to 2016 and uh, answer your question. Supposing in uh, 2016 we have uh, say 5%, let, let us adjust the question, 5% of uh, 10 million. What will be the provision? 5% of 10 million what is it? 50,000. That is a decrease from 3.6 to 50,000. Because you see, even the amount has, has decreased, the rate has, be, has gone down. So assuming in uh, 2016 there is a decrease, then let's see how to account for it. In 2016, January 1, balance brought down 3.6 million. Then in, uh, at the end of 2016, December 31, balance carried down. This should be balance carried down, eh? Balance carried down at the end is uh, 50,000. That is 50,000. Is it 50, 500,000 or 50,000? 500,000. This is 500,000. 500,000. So this is 500,000. So it has decreased from 3.6 to 500,000. So you don't need to think a lot. You just get the balancing figure on this account. Please don't memorize these things. Just put the entries, then you have the balance. You see the balance is now appearing on this side. So on December, this is the, this is the still December. This balance, and it is, uh, I need to push it down. You see that? This balance should appear down. Balance carry down the positioning to allow me because the balance should be the last item. The balance carry down should be at the end. You see now, this side is greater than the other side. So there is a the balance on this side. 
and the balance is uh, 3.1 million. So this we check to balance, this is December 31, P and L. So 3.1 will be credited to the P and L. It is like an income. Okay? We add it to the gross profit. 3.6 So that is how to account for a decrease. Is that clear, George? It is the opposite. Just insert the, the balances, get the balancing figure. This one is a balancing figure. This is the balancing figure. 3.1. So this balancing figure is what we will appear in the profit and loss account. Roman 3, the balance sheet extracts, the balance sheet extracts for the three years, balance sheet extracts. I'll use page 3 to prepare the balance sheet extracts. How will these entries appear in the balance sheet? Trade receivable we know is a, a current asset. So the trade receivable will be recorded under current assets. So under current assets, among other current assets, will have the trade receivable. So we may have cash, bank, prepared expenses, inventory. Then we also have trade receivable. In 2013, trade receivable What is the trade receivable at the end of 2013? What is the trade receivable at the end of 2013? It is 22 million. You see that? So we have 22 million, three zeros up there. From this trade receivable or data, so we have to deduct the provision less provision for doubtful or bad debt provision what is the provision for 2013 we go to the provision for bad debts account 2013 at the end of 2013 this is the provision this is what is deducted from the trade receivables at the end and that is uh, 1.1 1 .1. is it 1.1 1 .1? yes it's 1.1 yes 1.1 1.1 this is deducted from the data So the net, what is the net? 22 million minus 1.1 million. This is, uh, is it 20? So this is uh, the amount that will appear in the books in 2013. The company expects to raise or to collect 22 million 
but there is a chance of provision of seven uh, percent of potential for bad debt so that is deducted from the amount to get the net we do the same for 20 that 2014 the debtors or trade receivables trade receivable receivable 2014 is 40 million so 40 million less provision for doubtful debt the provision at the end of 2014 is 2.8 million 2.8 million so we deduct 2.8 million from this amount and this is uh, is it 47 not 47 but 37 is it 37 200 37,200. Then in 2015, trade receivable is uh, 60 million. 60 million less provision for bad and doubtful debt at the end of 2015 the provision is 3.6 million so we come here and deduct 3.6 million get the net so this should be is it 50 50 what that is 50 400 okay six fifty six that the right amount accounting for trade receivables always tested I'm trying to look for past papers Someone is asking, how will you indicate for 2016? For 2016, for 2016, though it was not part of the question, 2016 will have trade receivables for 2016, 10 million, 10 million less the provision for bad debts for 2016 we do the same thing we deduct this balance of uh, on the prov provision for bad or doubtful debts the balance at the end always take the balance at the end the balance at the end of the the balance or uh, at the end of on the provision for bad and that would this the balance there is five hundred thousand we deduct so this will be nine point five million that is how twenty sixteen will appear the extract the same thing deduct the provision at the end from the balance at the end all these balances are at the end of the accounting period that's how you account for trade receivables in the balance sheet every time you have to prepare the balance sheet and you have trade receivables you take the trade receivables as provided in the question at the end of the accounting period because we prepare balance sheets at the end of the accounting period so you take the 
uh, debtors at the end of the uh, accounting period, you deduct it, you deduct the provision for that for this at the end of the same date. Then you have the net. Yeah,